sickest pre in the world. Straight down the hatch. Are you ready, babe? You've got tights on. It's 2020, I'll wear what I want. You look awful. This right here is the epitome of fitness, babe. Uh-huh, the no look. Uh-huh, the no look. It's pretty impressive, don't Go even on. lie. Trip over the kettlebell. Didn't even look at the cam once. Still not looked at it, I know exactly where the cap is. <laughs> I didn't record any of that. Shut up. What's up, guys? Liam here, welcome back to LSEO TV. You guys see the title. Today we are doing a Christmas what are you wearing? So Santa got me this jumper, right? It says, how you doing? And it's the central perk, friends thing. We've got the hard body booty band on here. It's also got its crotch on display. <laughs> we've, got, we've, got the, we've got the My Protein base layer <laughs> leggings on, which to really show off the old, show off the games, you know? Oh God, you look awful. I Here's look how not to wear My Protein. <laughs> To be fair, I'm only wearing one bit of my protein. <laughs> got a home alone top on underneath. This is the Christmas booty day thing with my girl. Basically, Charlotte's going to be doing a bit of what she would usually be doing, and I'm going to be doing some leg press. But she's in the video, she's in the title, and she's in the bum nail. Bum nail is actually a hybrid word between bum and thumbnail. Thumbnail for every single YouTube video, bum as in hers. So that is what we're going to be getting up to today, people. Drop this video a like, drop this video a comment down below. Let Charlotte know just how valuable she is to the channel. By dropping a like, I'm sure you'll really appreciate it yeah. if this video hits 100 lights you'll probably absolutely love it where you're definitely fair, so. anyway it's gonna be a good one <clears throat> cheers team merry christmas and a happy new year and let go about oh I don't even know it's coming up to five or six months ago now right babe I don't know. Not I, that long. since I hurt my knee I mean Not that long. like five months it must be no, I don't think so. well, it's a long time no it's five five months I will say I'll say five months it's not been as long as six but anyway too bloody long to be uh, faffing about any longer you know so um, I am actually stacking this. I'm gonna stack it with all the weight that we have, which is 250 kilos, and that will be my lot for today. Uh, what I've basically been doing over the past few, over the past three weeks, maybe a little bit more, is uh, doing this once a week and just this. What I'm gonna try and do today, build up to the top set, do less on the top set, and then try and add some hamstrings back into the equation because I haven't actually done any hamstring work for, well, since I did my knee injury. Um, and the hamstring work in terms of just a stiff-legged deadlift or we also have the hamstring curl over in the corner there. One of the two, I'm just gonna stick to that and do that purely because I need to. I need to do something to kind of just get it slightly more back to normal. I need to force myself to do it on a day like this where it's just fun. You know, we're training essentially, we're, we're pretty much just training for the fun of it. Burning a few Christmas calories, but you know, we're not trying to hit any PBs. So basically today is the ideal day for me to kind of test out hamstring work without having to worry about it too much. If it hurts, then I'll just leave it and I'll come back to it next week, you know, because we're still doing one session per week for now. Basically my leg training for the, before the injury was 
the same, right? Every single week, twice a week, I would do the same thing over and over and over again and it worked. So I'm just gonna build up to that slowly but surely, probably realistically over the next few months, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let go. That was good, that's good, because that's getting easier now. I say it's getting easier now, I, I, I used to rep it for like 25, but you know, considering I can hardly stand up a little while ago, that's not so, not so bad. I'll take that. Right, okay, feeling good so far, everybody. We're gonna take that with just the one top set today, because we worked our way over very slowly. Um, we're gonna go on to the leg extension slash hamstring curl machine and do our thing on there. Happy with that, babe. Yes. Go on, girl. Yeah. Let me stretch a ball. That's a, <laughs> that's just a great jumper. That's a nice belt, babe. Yeah, I know. It, see, the thing is, it, it actually needs breaking in a bit, to be fair. Like, um, I, I honestly, this is one of the reasons why I never used to use belts, is I don't know how people Bend, like down. bend down in them, but it's obviously because to do I've never, easy. yeah, yeah, exactly. So I've never actually, <laughs> I've never actually used a, a worn in belt. And obviously, I, because I've not been squatting and deadlifting, I've not had the chance to wear that belt in. So it's still essentially brand new. If you can't um, afford a waist trainer, buy a Brandon Hardin belt. A hard body belt, babe. Hard body belt. Sorry, I'm not in. <laughs> that's cool though. The different sizes. Yeah, there's a small, medium, and a large. And I think that's a medium. I think. Someone asked me the other day and I can't remember. So ladies and gents, I'm gonna show you the best Christmas day top that I wore if you saw the last video, which was the Christmas Day kind of highlights type thing, whatever I decided to call that video, goes live tonight on the day of filming this, this goes live after that. Anyway, this is the sickest Christmas Day t-shirt you have ever seen in your entire life. Massive, oversized, relaxation with the burglars from Home Alone. They're in line with your nipples. If you... <laughs> yeah, they are. Do you think they did that on purpose? Yeah. If you are a real OG, because Home Alone, one thing that people don't necessarily know about me is that Home Alone is my favourite film of all time. Not only my favourite Christmas film, it is the best film of all time. Don't even at me. Don't come at me with your Die Hard as a Christmas film. Home Alone is the best Christmas film. Best film ever, full stop. So, if you know the names of these two wet bandits, stick them in the comment section down below and you'll win a virtual high five courtesy of myself. So because my girlfriend behind the camera is an OG too, what are their names, babe? Mm-hmm. And Yeah, high five. Cool, you're set. Yeah, but a really, really small weight. Because that's not a small weight if you haven't done it for ages. Oh man, I really thought I was going to be okay on this. Take this strap off. How's that? Better. Okay. I think I'll just stick to the one set. Yeah. It's okay, I think I just needed to get used to it. I'm not going to push my look though. No. I'll tell you that. It's about 12 reps. Hopefully I can look back at this in a few months or in a couple of months or even in a couple of weeks and think, mm, yeah, okay, we're doing a lot better now. But, yeah. Um, considering I've done that last, so we've done some leg extensions, we've done uh, worked up the top sets on 
press. Um, leg press. Uh, I'll take that because that's a hell of a lot more volume than what I'm used to. And to be honest, I think the joint is just tired. I think I'm fatigued. Um, I feel fine, but my knee is not used to that much volume. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just kind of reached that limit where I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to push too much, you know, because it could be detrimental rather than a benefit. So I think we're going to round the video off here, babe. What do you reckon? Good idea. Yeah, good idea? I'm cold. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, do us both a favour. Drop it a like. Drop it a comment down below. Drop a suggestion for a challenge, a video, any, anything that we can do um, together uh, that's just fun and kind of cool and interesting that you guys would like to see in the comment section down below and we'll see what we can do. We may do it or we may not, but if you don't ask, you don't get. So if you want to see us both do something, or just me. They don't. They do. They don't. They do. People love it when you come on the channel, babe. Like a fresh face, they get bored of my face. So if you guys could do that for us, that would be really, really helpful. Thank you. We hope you have had a very Merry Christmas. If you are watching this in the new year, Happy New Year! This Christmas stuff, you're probably bored of it right now, but you know, it's still Christmas for us. We're, <laughs> you know, doing our thing. So, tinsel will be coming down, all that kind of stuff. I'll be sure to show you guys that if I, if I actually get the time, I should do in a video very, very soon. We also have plenty of car stuff coming up. We've got plenty of Plenty of other stuff coming, we've got Charlotte smoking behind the camera, we've got so much to tell you guys in the very near future and we're very excited to share all sorts um, in 2021. So thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for your support this year. Drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Together we will grow and when will we see them babe? In the next video. In the next one. Bye. Bye.